This video describes the Turning Toolpath Strategy Enhancements, now available in Esprit. There are several enhancements to both solid turn grooving and contouring to minimize machine operator intervention, create process stability, decrease perishable tooling consumption, minimize hand editing of NC code, which introduces risk. Solid turn grooving can now specify a feed rate reduction on the initial plunge or when a groove tool is fully engaged where chip control and chip evacuation could be a problem due to poor accessibility. When roughing wide grooves, solid turn grooving now supports a lateral retraction away on consecutive plunges. This can minimize tool pressure or push off which, if significant, can damage the insert or the generation of swarf. This can also prevent work hardening of certain materials such as super resistant alloys and tool steels. Finally, solid turn contouring has enhanced the arc entry exit lead in type, letting you specify an angle that truncates the arc. The system can now generate a large sweeping arc to soften the entrance angle. This improves cutting conditions and minimizes blending issues that could stem from tool or part deflection. To get started, we programmed a grooving operation on this spool. Note the can cycle is set to no and the groove type to multiple plunge. The new parameter is full engage percent of feed rate. It is available for all three stock types, automation, casting, and diameter. The system adheres to the specified full engage percent of feed rate value for any plunge where the tool is fully engaged. For the alternate across plunge pattern, the tool will use the full engage percent of feed rate value for plunges one, two, and three, and the normal feed rate values for plunges four and five. For the alternate adjacent plunge pattern, the tool will use the full engage percent of feed rate value for plunges one, two, and four, and the normal feed rate value for plunges 3 and 5. For the consecutive plunge pattern, the tool will use the full engage percent of feed rate value for the initial plunge only. With the consecutive plunge pattern, we introduce another new parameter, which is the retract lateral clearance. This retract lateral clearance can take values between 0 and the tool width value at 100%. The system then generates a 45 degree retraction away from the plunge direction on all of the subsequent roughing plunges. To improve your cutting conditions and turning operations, you can now control the arc angle and the normal distance of a radius lead in or out. On this back contour finishing operation, we blend into the previous contour finishing, so we want to create a large sweeping arc to soften the entry. We set the lead in out angle to radius, an arc angle between 0 and 90 degrees, a large radius value, and a normal distance that could be smaller than the radius value. Note that with this normal distance parameter, the tool always moves away from the profile depending on the feature's normal. To summarize, you can now better control your cutting conditions and turning operations by controlling the arc angle and the normal distance of the radius lead in and lead out. With grooving cycles, you can control your tool engagement feed rate and specify a lateral retraction to minimize tool wear. Through these enhancements, Esprit brings you better process stability and time savings. Thank you for watching this Esprit product feature video. For more information about this and other new features in Esprit, refer to the release bulletin and product help.